Right there. Nah, that would have been. Lee. Lee, can't wait to hear you give your speech at graduation 2014. You go. Wait, so. <laughs> she did relocate, but quickly came back. I guess our corner of the room was the best, most fun. When we weren't sitting in the circle, our class had a tendency to gender segregate. As such, our class representative speaker wins the award most likely to be found with the boys. Because when we separated into girls versus boys, she was always found with them. However, when it came time to study or find a glass of wine, she knew her rightful place with the ladies. Regardless of being with the boys or the girls, this class member has become one of my closest friends and has shown us all that it is possible not only to overcome adversity, but to stare it in the face and show it who's boss. It's my honor to present Lee Kaplan. graduation, <laughs> which now that I'm thinking about seems a bit competitive for a bunch of 10 year olds. <laughs> Anyways, I did this unique rendition of Boz Lerman's The Sunscreen Song, dispensing what I can only imagine was sage 10 year old wisdom. Standing here 15 years later, a slightly more polished byproduct of several years of higher education. <laughs> I still consider it to be one of my better pieces of writing. <laughs> I'll try to do it some justice tonight, unfortunately without musical interpretations this time, or fortunately if you've ever heard me sing. <laughs> but if all else fails, trust me on the sunscreen. <laughs> Until recently, I had what I consider to be an immensely blessed and easy life free of any major traumatic events. While I still consider myself both blessed and lucky for all the great things and people in my life, it has become a bit less easy and carefree. This past fall, I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, MS for short. Um, without going into too much detail, it's a chronic degenerative autoimmune disease that affects the central nervous system, for which there is currently no cure. I never thoroughly understood this next lesson because I've never had to. When you go through difficult life events, you truly learn the value of people and more specifically, the people you surround yourself with. This is very much related to the field we're about to enter into. I recently finished up a clinical rotation in a hospital setting. Each day you see individuals going through traumatic, life-changing events. From what I've seen, the individuals with great support systems make greater and quicker gains physically and mentally because they have people sharing in their burden and distress. It makes a challenging situation just a little bit easier. For me, speaking from personal experience, people, many of whom are in this room, have made all the difference. I was very fortunate early on in my first clinical to have an example set for me of what great therapists look like. The qualities you need to possess and the determination it takes to get to that level. Since then, I've been on clinical affiliations in many different settings with students and practicing therapists from various programs. What I've learned after much reflection is that a great physical therapist is hard to come by. This is a field where success is not measured by monetary gain, but by the difference you make in your patient's life. There is an immediacy of impact you can have on another person's day that involves inherent components and qualities not required of other disciplines. While competency is a necessary piece, the intangible qualities and core values of an individual are the difference makers between good 
and great physical therapists. I can confidently attest to these traits in each of my peers and professors because of the profound impact they've had on my life. The selflessness, compassion, and patience required in spending countless hours in a hospital sharing in what became an immense several month roller coaster for me without question or complaint. I think you'd be hard pressed to find another program where professors make hospital visits and daily calls to make sure you're feeling all right. Your bravery, warmth, and lightheartedness gave me the strength to always face this challenge with a smile or laughter. The advocacy on my behalf when new issues arose empowered me to always face them head on. From day one, and now you've heard all about the circle, so I feel more confident in this, <laughs> we sat in a semicircle instead of rows, which has always signified our unity as a class. This situation is no different. We've been a team through and through. These are just brief examples that speak highly to the type of therapists you will all make, to the caliber of student UConn accepts, and to the culture this program breeds. We will all face adversities in life. This is something that is not just unique to me. But after experiencing some serious life curveballs, here's what I can offer in three simple pieces of advice that got me to this day. And as a quick aside, please hold all smirks or I told you so's until after <laughs> or never. <laughs> with the understanding that especially with this first piece, it's gonna be tempting. <laughs> first, don't be too afraid or too proud to ask for help. This was a very humbling and valuable lesson I've been dealt this year after several trial and errors. I've always been a person who believes stubbornness and sheer grit are the best ways to overcome a challenging situation. While I won't completely rule out the, the necessity of this type of strength, Sometimes the real strength lies in admitting weakness and asking for help from those around you. Second, don't let anyone set limitations to the life you see for yourself and don't be the person that sets limitations on your own life. Thrive in spite of your road, roadblocks. You will all be successful in this field and continue to change many lives as you've changed mine. I have no doubt about this, let it happen. And lastly, I feel so strongly about the importance of this one because while we can't control every element of our lives, we have a conscious say in this part. Surround yourselves with quality individuals. It will make every single one of your days better, even the bad days, especially the bad days. I don't feel an ounce of sorry for myself. I just feel lucky and excited about what the future has to offer albeit very much unknown, and that's a confidence you've all inspired in me. I'm gonna proceed with a number of thank yous, and these are not pleasantries, nor should they go without saying. First and foremost, I would like to thank my classmates and professors with my utmost gratitude and appreciation for allowing me to be your classmate and student, for sharing in my challenges without question, and for making this past year just a little bit easier. It's been an honor. This program has a way of making you feel like family. And I truly feel like I'm graduating with several, several more family members. On that note, I have to personally thank my own family. My strength comes from you. I could live several lifetimes and still feel inordinately indebted to everything you've done for me and the values you can continue to instill in me every day. I would also like to thank all the parents, family, and friends that are here for being a part of creating some really extraordinary individuals. If I had to do it all over again, I would pick UConn in a heartbeat. Thank you. He has changed all of our lives for the better. Uh, we wish her all the best, Dr. Lee Kapp. Yeah. Hello, Lee. You were amazing tonight. We loved you. Cut.
cut. No, keep going. Cut. We're, we're getting the awkward uh, pause afterwards. 